making sh Oh shit! Oh my god! I just pressed the button! I just showed you how it's cancelled! <laughs> Hello and welcome. So I'm so so sorry that I haven't done any of these videos for years now. I know that I promised that I would, but there's been various reasons why I haven't. It's not that I haven't wanted to. But I'm here now today to talk to you about New Zealand medical alarms, specifically this home alarm, like the ones you see on TV with the old people wearing a big bulky necklace. Um, and also the mobile alarm, which you may or may not have heard of as the anywhere alarm. It's like a big bulky necklace. <laughs> Anyway, I have a lot to say about this. This video is mainly about this. I just have a couple of little updates on this. Um, so we'll get started shortly. First of all, you will have noticed the Ukrainian flag behind me with the coat of arms. There is one thing in my introduction video I did years ago that I didn't say about myself and I don't know why. But that is it. I am Ukrainian. Not Russian. Ukrainian. Now as a Ukrainian, I need you to know that Ukrainians are not Russian. And Ukrainians and Russians are not one people. That is a false image that the Kremlin pushed on society and went free range and way out of control. It is not true. So Ukrainians and Russians are not one people and Ukrainians are not Russian. And I'm Ukrainian, not Russian. Okay, now we can get started. So we will start with this. Now, look what I'm doing to this strap. I've had this for three weeks now and look what I'm doing to it. Now if, if you've had one of these um, watches before you know the old plasticky resin straps. Uh, they just break immediately, um, they just don't last and if I had have done that it would have just busted. So um, they have new straps. Now there are a few differences to this strap compared to the old resin ones. First of all the material, this is like a cotton weaving material, it's super super durable as you can see. Um, there are also those two little keepers, um, compared to the old resin ones there was just one which would just bust, um, as you will know if you've had them before. Um, now this is also longer so if you have bigger arms this will be good for you. If you have super big arms, this will be good for you even more so because it's super adjustable. The adjustability doesn't really apply if you have thinner arms like me. Um, now because it is longer, uh, without putting it on, um, it will stick out like that. Um, but all I do is just fold that down under there. Um, yeah, and it, it does go under. <laughs> I'm just showing what I do. Now the only con I really have to say about this is that when it gets wet, like if you have it in the shower, it does take ages to dry, but it's not such a big issue. I've kept it on wet before and it's dried fine. You don't even notice it. Um, it but if that bothers you, I mean, I don't know, but <laughs> the upsides to having this greatly outweigh the downsides like getting wet. Um, so that is the strap updated. Go get one. They're amazing. Sorry if you can hear the rain on the roof, and yes I've had a wardrobe change because I'm frozen. I'm right outside a door in the barn and it's really cold. So anyway, we'll move on to the Anywhere Alarm or the Mobile Alarm depending on what you may have heard of it as. Now this is an amazing little device, you will not believe the technology in this thing and all the features. There's so much to say about this, so we will get started. So the difference between these two, the Home Alarm and the Mobile Alarm, um, whilst the home alarm will only work at home, it will not work outside of your home. The mobile alarm will work anywhere in New Zealand. Anywhere. So I live in the South Island. If I went to the North Island, I take this with me, it will work anywhere. As well as working anywhere in New Zealand, these can actually call any New Zealand emergency service. So not just ambulance, they can also call the New Zealand Police and the New Zealand Fire Service. Um, so that's a pretty incredible service you get with this little device. Now I know I just said little device when you can clearly see that it's actually big and bulky and ugly, kind of like the old people are on TV, but honestly it's not that much of a problem. Um, like I thought it would be really problematic, but all I do is just tuck it under my t-shirt and voila, you don't even know I've got it on. Um, if you go for a run or something, just tuck it under your crop top and um, you're good to go. 
And if you're worried about how it looks, don't worry because it just looks like a stopwatch. Um, and there's nothing to be ashamed of having this anyway. And the benefits of having this greatly outweigh the downsides like being kind of shrek like. So this has GPS so it can locate exactly where you are and it sends periodic updates to your emergency service who you're communicating with through this. Um, so if you're crawling your way home like a zombie, um, this will update the emergency service on your last known location so they can um, come to you, come to that location. You can press the button for anyone, so whilst you can do that with a home alarm as well, like if someone at home has a medical emergency, you can press your button for them, or the big red button on the device that should be within reach, not up on the microwave where you can't reach it. Um, but obviously the home alarm is limited to home, whereas this, uh, working anywhere in New Zealand, um, say if I went to a horse show in the North Island, um, and someone else fell off and got a bit banged up, I could press the button for them and the emergency service would go to them. Um, so I know that you'd be paying for it and you know, they'd be using the service, but I mean, it's okay, we can all be charitable to each other, can't we? So I'll just talk a little bit about it, how it works. Um, so to activate it, you can see buttons on both sides there. Now to activate it, you press and hold both buttons. Um, it'll vibrate and a little sound will come out of it. And that rim there that's white now, that will actually pulse red. Um, and it will a little voice will come out of it and say, a help alert is in progress. So all you do to cancel it is just press and hold one button, it can be either or either, doesn't matter, just press and hold one button to cancel. If you do not cancel then it, this will connect to St. John and uh, when an operator does get your um, alert, it'll say your alert has been received, someone will call you back. Um, now actually how you hear is through that little, I mean, you can't see, he's a little walking man, a um, little speaker in the shape of walking man, there he is. Um, so that's where audio comes out, so you cannot cover it or else you won't hear the audio that comes out. Um, now when you are talking to a St. John operator, you actually speak into, oh there you can see it, just there. Um, it's, it's a tiny, tiny little dot that you speak into, so you can't cover that either or else they will not hear you. So those two speakers cannot be covered. Now when you're actually talking to someone through this device, you need to speak loud and clear. Um, especially because depending on the signal strength, because it works over a 4G network, if the signal strength is good or excellent, then you'll have no problem. Um, it'll be loud and clear, perfect. But if the signal is weak, then you may have trouble communicating back and forth. Um, so you need to be loud and clear um, when you communicate. When the call has ended to your emergency person, um, this room will actually continue to pulse screen to indicate that it's still working in the background to determine your location and send the location updates to them. So I just want to talk a little bit about how it's charged because it's pretty incredible. You only have to charge it once a month and from low battery it only takes two or three hours to charge. So to charge it, you have this little flat device thingy with a hole in it and you place the device in there, making sure that the speakers are facing upwards because it does talk to you. Um, this also tells you when it needs to be charged and when it's sitting in here it tells you when it is charged and it also updates the software whilst it is charging so um, you don't have to worry about any of that sort of thing. Oh, it's not just this flat device thingy. You actually have a USB cord. Um, it's the newer end, the USB-C I think. Um, so that plugs into there. The latest phones and devices have that end um, and that plugs into there, yeah, the wall plug. So you can um, charge it in your computer I guess but it will be quicker in the wall plug. So we'll just talk a little bit about the cost of these now. You can get charged weekly or fortnightly for both of them. Um, now the price has gone up for the home alarm, I get charged fortnightly $31.50 so if you chose to be charged weekly that would be $15.25.
um, and you don't just get the watch or the necklace with the home alarm system you actually get um, a big huge device it's got a big huge red button that you can just slam and that device uh, it that's like the phone you actually talk through that other device so um, you have two buttons and a big a big phone that you can hear outside of your house like it's incredible the range that that thing has um, so that is more than worth $31.50 fortnight or $15.25 weekly. Now obviously with all the extras that you get with the Anywhere Alarm, it does cost more. Um, I get charged $47 fortnightly, so that would be $23.50 weekly. Um, so yes, that sounds like a lot of money, but honestly, this is your life insurance. Um, and it's like buying a horse riding helmet. like. Sometimes the helmets go up into the thousands of dollars, I kid you not. Um, it can be anywhere from like $50 to thousands. But if the only option you have is to pay $1,000 for a helmet that's going to save your life if you fall off, or you'd rather pay $0 and fall off, knock your noggin and end up brain dead or dead, like there's no comparison, it's your life we're talking about. So you can get funding through WINS for both of the alarms. So talk to WINS and just ask them about it. Something super, super important for people with pacemakers to know is that you can't wear this as a necklace because you have to keep it 15 centimeters away from your pacemaker. So um, whilst you can't wear it as a necklace, you do get given a keychain so you can put it on your keys or um, wear it like on your belt. Just don't fall on the side that you put the alarm on. Um, but that's something for you to know, um, keep it 15 centimeters away from your pacemaker so you can't wear it as a necklace. So the only personal con I have about this is that I keep accidentally activating it. Um, the first time was a little clip you saw at the start of the video, that was a previous version of this video. Um, that was the first time and the other two times I was leaning on a row of fence giving my horse kisses. So. <laughs> And the last time I had like a jacket, a hoodie and like two thermals and something else on and I couldn't get to it and I'm panicking and oh my god, it was a mess. Anyway, um, obviously as I said, you just press one button to cancel. <laughs> I couldn't do it through my clothes too, so that's one thing you do have to be careful um, is if you have it under too many layers, like you really should have it just under one or two layers so that you can like access it easily if you accidentally activate it. If you're a klutz like me, then you will um, have to be on the ball. Otherwise, um, this is a pretty amazing little device. Um, and don't pay any attention to the big, huge size of it if you're worried about that. Um, if anyone um, thought it was going to be problematic, it would have been me. And I can tell you now that it's it's not the only problem I have with it. It accidentally activates <laughs> I'm not sure how people with big boobs will go um, as far as accidentally activating it. Like if it went down your crevice. <laughs> like, I don't know. Now if you decide that you do want to try and get one of these, you need to be prepared to wait for it. Um, I filled out my papers about mid-December last year and I only just got mine um, in May. So you need to be prepared to wait if you do want to try and get one and at the moment I think they are still a little bit cheesy about who they give them to I think but I believe just because of low stock or something now before you go there's just one last thing I want to say to you because it's super important um, that is that I'm trying to raise money for Ukraine um, and to do that because I'm Ukrainian and the war in Ukraine is still ongoing it's still raging worse than you would believe so to raise money, I am selling these shirts. Um, not necessarily this one, this is my Hermes. Um, I got this one printed. Uh, these are literally the most beautiful material. They're like a silky cotton and stretchy. Um, they're beautifully made. Um, send me a picture of your pet or some other picture or a quote or something, anything you want printed on these things. Um, I can get it done. Well, I nearly forgot, I can also get things printed on phone case um, things. So I got this one done of my Hermes and I. Um, now I've got a Galaxy A13, so that's for that. I also got this one done, obviously. 
So if you, whoops, if you want anything printed on a phone case, I can also get that done for you. Um, just if you want anything printed, um, I'll give you a price. We can talk about it. Um, contact me on bestforceinthestable at gmail.com. It is bestforceinthestable at gmail.com. Um, there we can talk about what you might want and what it might cost and we can go from there. The money will go to United24, otherwise known as U24. I've provided links below for you to have a look at them. Um, their ambassadors include Luke Skywalker, um, Mark Hamill. Uh, I've got massive superstars uh, ambassadors for this organisation. I've been donating to them since the organisation was first developed last year. Um, so it is perfectly safe if you want to make your own donation without doing the whole shoot thing. So thank you very much everyone for watching this video. I hope you learned something valuable out of it about these alarms. Um, if you have any more questions, because I've probably left a whole bunch of stuff out, just comment below and ask me. Otherwise, the best people to ask are St. John on 0800 50 23 23. It is 0800 50 23 23. Otherwise, wins if you're worried about the cost. I don't have the number, just look it up on the internet. Um, so, if you want more of these videos from me, then please like and subscribe to my channel. And... Uh, for now, have a happy day, happy week, happy month, happy year, happy life, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.